Hello everyone! Today I'm doing a tutorial on this look here. This is another week of my One Palette One Series week and this week it is going to be the Nubian 2 from Juvia's Place. This palette is not quite as popular as her other two palettes so I did want to give it a little bit of a shine. I really love the look of this palette. I haven't used it much. This is my first look using it. So we will both see together throughout the rest of the week how I find it and whether or not I recommend it. So far the shadows worked really well on this look here. Let's jump into the tutorial. So I'm starting off as always with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is going to be a reoccurring theme for every single one of my tutorials. <laughs> so with the Nubian 2 palette, which is this one here, it's by Juvia's Place, I'm going to be taking this Morocco shade, this shade Jezebel and Nefertiti. So I'm going to start off with Morocco. There isn't really a good transition shade for pasty white people. So I'm just going to be taking that Morocco shade. This is going to go into the crease, but I'm putting it a little bit higher than my crease so that it can peep out of the top of the other colours that I'm doing which will come afterwards and I'm also winging that shade out a little bit. Now with a smaller blending brush I'm going to be going into this shade Jezebel which is a dark purple shade and this is going to go onto the outer third and into the crease sitting more tightly than that Morocco shade. Now I'm going to be taking that Neferiti, Nefertiti shade on a flat shader brush and packing that onto the lid. This is a really interesting shade because it's not like a typical gold shade, it's more like that mac and cheese gold shade. It's really like yellowy cheddar coloured. I don't know if that sounds really gross or what but <laughs> I'm going to be taking more of that Morocco shade on this brush and just making sure all of those edges are blended. And I'm barely touching my eye with my brush at this stage. I'm going really lightly because I didn't want to disturb it too much. Now I'm going to be doing my face and I will check back in with you when it comes to my blush shade, my highlight shade and my lips and underneath my eyes. So I'll see you soon. Alrighty so my face is all done. For my blush I'm going to be using Becca Flower Child. And then for my highlighter, I'm going to be taking a mixture of Summer and Moonstone from the Anastasia Sundit Glow Kit. Now to finish off my eyes and my waterline, I'm going to be using my Eye of Horus Sahara Nude. This really helps to open up the eyes so that the eyes don't look overwhelmed by the shadow. I think I'm going to be taking Madagascar and Morocco underneath my lower lash line. Now to spice things up a little bit, I'm going to be wearing today's saddle from Lime Chrome, so I'm actually going to be using that as a liquid liner. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of that onto my hand and then just applying it like I would a normal winged line, but it's just going to be red. Now using lip products around your eyes is up to your discretion whether or not you want to do that. I personally am taking the risk myself and I've never had any issues with it but proceed with caution. So that is one eye liner done. As you can see it just adds a really cool pop. It still adds the definition to your eye that winged liner does but it isn't as harsh as black and it fits in with the colour scheme that is already on our eyes. And you don't need to bring out an extra colour since I'm using the liquid lipstick that I'm using on my lips. And that kind of makes the whole look tie together as well, it's really cool. Alright, so now I'm just going to be going in with my IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. So that is the eyes finished. All I'm going to do now is just put a little bit of highlight onto the inner corner. It's going to be the same highlight that I used on my face. I'm just going to dip my finger into it. Now for my lips, the same colour that is on my eyes, this is, no that's not it, this is Saddle from Lime Crime and it's from their Living on a Prairie collection. Right, 
so that is the whole look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. This week is going to be five tutorials using the Nubian 2 palette and then my full review at the end of the week. So look forward to that. If this is a palette that you have, I hope that this series gives you a little bit of inspiration for how you can use all of the colours. If it's a palette that you don't have yet, maybe it will give you an idea of whether or not you want to pick it up based on how I use it, the looks that I can create, and then my final review. So I will see you in my next tutorial. Bye!